I'm Mackenzie Lee. We are here in the studio recording the audiobook for The Gentleman's Guide to Getting Lucky, which is a novella set after the events of The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. We are going to go crash the recording session and talk to Christian Coulson, who's the audiobook narrator, and see what he has to say. I sat up, and there was Percy in the doorway. When I moved, he jumped and clapped a hand to his chest. Were you pretending to sleep? He hissed. No, I didn't realize you were lurking. I'm not lurking, I'm thinking. Well, do you want to come do your thinking in here? I scooted toward the wall and patted the empty space in the bed beside me. He stood still for a moment, then shut the door behind his back before making his way to the bed, tentative and shy like he was crying. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? It's going pretty good. How are you? Hello. Hello. Welcome. Uh, Thank there's you. no chair for you. You'll have to stand. It's okay. Too bad. Um, how's your day? It's been great. Yeah? Came here. Great. Nothing else. I'm not going to read with you standing there. So Why not? Because it'll feel incredibly awkward. It's really good writing. Plus, I don't trust you standing. You don't trust me. You can stand over there. Yeah, I'm not going to read the wall. With you here. Do you want to come talk outside with All right, me? Let's do that. Okay. How's it been going today? It has been going pretty well, I think. What is your process like when you're preparing for an audiobook? Well, it's uh, I try to keep it fairly minimal, just because. Um, I want to be enjoying, like, I don't want to, the big thing for me is I don't want, one, I don't want to over-prepare because I want to be feeling like I'm telling the story fresh when I'm doing it, um, because that's much more, that feels much more exciting than if I'm, like, overly familiar with it. So I tend to read it once through, and while I'm reading it through, I highlight uh, all the different characters. I mean, this time, they're all familiar from the previous book, but sometimes I'll, like, cast them. I'll, like, try and work out what they're going to sound like usually by vaguely imagining an actor in that role who I would cast and then um, sort of thinking about them. I get the question a lot from readers, like, if your book was a movie, who would you cast in it? And I never have a good answer. You probably have much better answers than I do. No, no. But if you're casting people in your yeah, but casting I voices. But they might not be right for the movie. <laughs> the only one who jumps to mind right now, because we've been doing him today, is... Um, he doesn't sound anything like him, by the way, anymore. But when I first started thinking of... Um, Scipio, I was thinking of Idris Elba, but but, but he's sort good, of but but, but Idris Elba has like a London accent, and Scipio doesn't, so they don't actually sound like each other. I just sort of think of his, um, whereas S Scipio sounds more almost South African. He has like this slight, like South African sound to him, um, so it actually doesn't sound anything like Idris Elba. I just imagine him when I'm doing it. What made you feel like you needed this, uh, or what inspired this? Um, epilogue, I guess, sort of, to the to the events of the last one. Kind of avoiding what I was supposed to be working on. Okay. I think I wrote this when I was supposed to be writing the, the ladies' guide and wasn't, and decided I wanted to write essentially fan fiction of my own book. I see. Um, usually fan fiction involves some sort of getting lucky in it. Oh, yeah. um, Wait, isn't so. there a word for that? Like slash fiction? Is it slash? It's slash when it's two dudes. I wrote it without thinking we would sort of do anything with it and it would just live on my hard drive and amuse me. And you're reading it, which is a... We'll see. We'll see if it's big, funny. It's more serious, bonus. I feel like... Um, is it more serious? Yeah. I mean, maybe it's just because it's... I just noticed well, that it was... Don't pitch it as like the serious... It's also <laughs> fun. I'm just saying... I thought it was really funny. I actually really like... Well, I don't want to spoil it. Oh, I'll just have to... I'll <laughs> just whisper it in my ear. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't want to... better get back to it. You've got to get back to the work. That's right. got to finish this audiobook. Ugh. Give the people what they want. Yeah, we'll go do it. Okay. Have fun. Okay.